Hey, hey everybody, Beardo Dude back with another episode of Stone Shard Permadeath with the Way Forward update. And today we're gonna go scoop up a bunch of the points of interest, see if we don't die, and check out if any of the bugs have been fixed from the new update. So stay tuned. <laughs> Before we get started, make sure to hit like and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And there's a link to my Streamlabs if you're feeling generous. It all really helps support the channel. Alright y'all, we are... <clears throat> We're gonna go on a road trip. Another road trip. We're gonna go get the remaining points of interest today with our buddy Velmir here. Uh, I did manage to get dual wield training. Uh, from Bert, so we do have flurry of blows. We can start on down the path. I am tempted to do a dual wield build without Berserk Tradition because obviously I have a playthrough where we pretty much tested the max, the max out of the. Um, wait, am I loaded? Yeah, basically tested out Berserk Tradition to the max. It is very useful. So maybe it's something that we'll strive towards the end of the game once we get a bit stronger. Um, I'll check that out. We got an altar. But I'm thinking we'll... We'll kind of... Not that we'll go heavy armor, because we definitely want to keep dodge up. But maybe once we get to dual wield training and whirlwind and all those, we'll kind of step back and figure out if we want to go berserk tradition. Um... The first one, first point of interest, we'll probably hit these three. And if we're not full up, then maybe we'll just go on and we'll get six today. And that would be pretty, pretty awesome. We've gotten the Hermit's Hut and the Ruined Manor in previous ones. So we got the best ones I mean, um, for what we needed because we needed the uh, backpack, obviously. And there's tons of good stuff out of the Ruined Manor. I think we got Sword Treaties 2 and stuff, so... We'll see what we get if these are all camps. Um, might find the troll along here. Otherwise, we still have the witch's hut and the leprosarium, which are kind of underwhelming, but we might as well try to look for them. But uh, yeah, before we get uh, too into it, I just wanted to uh, shout out a couple channels since I've got a lot of new subs and a lot of new people watching. Um, definitely. Definitely go check out Poison Eyes channel. He's uh, he's actually as a, I think as of the time this video is coming out, he's starting his own Let's Play series um, of Stone Shard. He's doing a spear run, so it should be definitely interesting. He's gonna have a lot of insights and knowledge. He he's basically like the guy that goes and takes on the troll in all of the craziest ways possible he's fought him level one uh, as the pyro before they kind of nerfed some of the things you can do as a level one pyro against him he um yeah just about every build you can imagine he's fought against the troll he has a, f a few fun like compilation videos as, as well of like dual wielding um using shout as a weapon things like that so if you guys like what I'm doing, uh, definitely go and check out his channel. Give him some love. If you're in the comments, let him know I sent, him, sent you over there. The other one, too, although he hasn't started any Let's Plays on Way Forward, he hasn't played in about a month or so, is Darley Lama. He's the my co-host on the uh, podcast. If you guys haven't checked out the podcast, I'll add uh, a link up at the top. I'll add a little card. For you guys to click on to check those out we basically go in depth on each of the skill trees you know talk about which skills are good which ones you can skip and just like overall impressions of them so those are two channels to definitely check out if you love stone shard you want to see more like let's play type content but we should have a camp around here i did find um, pretty interesting we did um, the live stream where I played for a bit longer than I have on this so far and it seems like crossbows are super viable oh, I'm gonna watch out here 
I don't know if we can take on both. Oh, well, there's three of them. Is he in range? No, he's not in range. Okay, I think we only got two. Oh, man! That boar totally ran into him. That's awesome. Alright, come on. First run with Flurry of Blows. Man, we bled him to death there. Uh, the other, yeah, and then all the sword stuff. We mostly just got the two starter passives. Um, I forget what they're called, like honed, honed blade or something like that. I can check it in a minute. Oh, it looks like the boar kind of end, ended his life there. Ah, come on, man. You don't want to fight? Oh, and he died. Yeah, bleed is like big time your friend with the update. If you get somebody bleeding and they run off, then that makes it way, way easier. So we'll grab up the the pelts and stuff. We'll see. Might not really. I think the wolves and the the boars are the same value. Otherwise, we might ditch them. We'll see what we find. Um, there should be a camp here, though. Probably just like in the one spot. I hadn't checked yet. The boars are nasty though. The moose too. I really hope that they fix it because I would bleed them even more. Bleeding them like a pig. The moose, man. Jeez. They are really rough. Maybe we missed it. Where is it? Maybe we missed the tile. We must have missed the tile. Um, let's, uh, it could be up in that corner. But yeah, and I, I talk to those guys pretty frequently too. They're they're cool dudes, so definitely worth your time. Maybe we picked the wrong t map tile? I swear I, I was going the right way. Because I thought we went... Unless I went down. Let's go... We'll go up. The backtrack a little. Yeesh. I'm really liking the update though. I don't know about you guys. Oh. No, this is forest. Oh, we must have gone here. I'm guessing. Hmm. I'm hoping it's here. Might be barking up the wrong tree here. I'm not a big fan on the nerfing of the herbs. Those thirst modifiers are pretty nuts, though. It's kind of weird timing because they gave the the hunger back to the cooked mushrooms, so kind of go back to picking up penny buns. We were using rhubarb as like our go-to <clears throat> herb and stuff while running around. It seems kind of unfair in a little ways because you're basically going to you're basically like if you're gonna use henbane in a battle it's like if you use henbane you're gonna have to drink water before you so you're basically gonna waste one of the turns but I mean I wasn't I wasn't too huge on using the mushrooms and the herbs and I ain't using the herbs as much I always bring henbane but I always forget that it's in my inventory until like after the fact Okay, we only alerted one, so that's good. I get him. It's a crossbow. There we go. You're out by yourself, man. I kind of wish they were a little bit more aggressive. Like once they see you like this, that they would attack. Huh? I thought that they had fixed the. Uh, <clears throat> the dash stuff, I swear 
on the last episode that the wolves were dashing, but I could be mis- No, I'm, I know I'm not mistaken. Oh, there's another wolf. I mean, it's free XP, so... Oh, now he rushed. Yeah, you're getting a... <coughs> Sorry. You're getting at least one bleed here. Nice. Yeah, because I think crits with the sword force a bleed either way. Yeah, that that's, that's working real well. Oh, there's the... <coughs> Man. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I think the camp must be up here. I do see some light, so. Let these guys come. Oh, he sliced his head off. Alright, come on, guy. Might even go, um. I know I usually go defensive tactic. It might be oh, our old buddy Lumpy Head. I don't think you're gonna make it to me, man. Oh, you are gonna run. Yeah, and somebody on the Discord was talking about how it feels like some of the enemies are actually easier now with the update. And I can see that, especially with the bandits. Aw, oh, lame. They don't seem as uh as rough as before so you got one point of interest down we are kind of full up but I think we'll keep on because to be honest I'll just drop the the furs I'm not that that oh wait I don't want to drop that I'm not that worried about it we probably could have left some food behind because um, I did fill up the backpack with food Usually, you really only need to fill up on a ton of food if you're going um, to the crypt. Or even catacombs now, it seems like it's a little light on the food compared to how it used to be. Oh, uh, we'll get level 4 here. And we'll go uh, on the next episode, we'll definitely start tackling the dungeons. Yeah, this is where we were. So we'll go over. We already cleared this tile. Like get into some fights here. Yeah, the moose is nasty. He almost killed me on the live stream. The boars are kind of nasty too. And I talked with Darley. We're gonna do. We're probably gonna do a podcast about the uh, the update pretty soon. We're kind of waiting for all the hot fixes to get released. And I'm gonna have to leave some meat behind if I keep if it keeps dropping off these guys. But yeah, I'm liking this build so far. Now that we got flurry of blows. It was kinda rough. But I feel like <clears throat> Oh jeez. Alright, maybe we can get him before they show up. No, it doesn't look like it. Alright, he's gonna be bleeding. I wanna switch and retreat a tiny bit here. Although that didn't really help that much. Yeah, man. That bleed. That <clears throat> that bleed. I've never played swords before, so this is a lot of fun. Getting that bleed in pretty much guarantees you're gonna win. Oh, that was one that was coming out of his buddy. All right, it should be the tile down here. The boars <clears throat> seem to be giving decent XP too. Oh, I thought maybe I could get away with that. Dodge is pretty decent. What are we at? Let's see. I'm a little bit hurt. Where's our dodge? Dodge 21. So not bad. Not perfect, but above the, the normal. 
Yeah, we might end up dropping meat, which is weird. I don't know if I like the idea of doing that entirely. Alright, so I'm guessing there's going to be a camp on this tile, too. Yep, we already found it. Sweet. Like, sometimes they're in the middle, and then sometimes they're not. I actually don't even really have a problem with just taking all these guys on. If I could hit this guy, that would be nice. Especially to, since we're doing way more damage than he is. Oh, he ran out of arrows. Well, I got like 40 arrows, bro, so... Don't expect any mercy. Where'd they go? Gotcha. Nah, I'm not stopping. Won't stop, can't stop, man. Oh, we did get another uh, chest, though, so that's nice. I think Lumpyhead was in the mix, but he ran off, so... Ah, uh, man, pretty lackluster uh, chest so far. Oh, there's still count. Oh, there he's coming back now. Oh, it wasn't Lumpyhead, it was Mohawk, dude. Alright, let's go combat. Oh, I love the attack of opportunity. That feels so good, doing. I just feel like we've gone so long where the, those guys are just doing that to us and now we can actually do it to them. Alright, so we'll... We do have... Man, we are... Got a ton of meat here. I was still kind of hoping we were going to get some kind of cool treasure or something, but... I think with Flurry of Blows, <clears throat> in the next episode we won't have any kind of issue fighting the... Um, fighting the second dungeon. And I say that, it isn't going to be like a cakewalk, but it's not going to be like crazy hard or anything. Wait, where are we then? Oh, we're right here. Okay, so the, all the other ones are kind of like in a straight line. I must want to just take them head on. Like, see how we would fare against a like, pack of wolves with just our swords. It's funny, because you find so many... Oh, what was that, dude? I thought I saw something move. Maybe it was just the tree stump. You find so many crude falchions, like, early game. It's pretty funny to actually, like, hey, I'm actually going to use this. All your buddies are running away, man. Gotta bleed. Oh, hey. Uh, so that's weird. He's still listed as suspicious. Is he gonna attack me? Okay, he did attack me. I think there's still some work to be done on the AI, so hopefully we'll continue to see hot fixes. This guy just totally ran off. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, hey guy. Yeah, so it looks like it's a little bit buggy. I think I'm playing on uh, point seven of the uh, of all the patches. Oh, we don't need to save. The barrels never seem to have anything good either. All right, we'll see what these bottom three are. If they're all gonna be camps or what. We had such a hard time at the beginning, but I guess it's because we didn't really have any skills. So we've we've moved over that hurdle. So now it's just a matter of uh, keeping on getting all our stuff, getting equipment, getting uh, getting the rest of the skill books is probably priority. I kind of don't leave it to chance anymore because like I know a lot of people will hold out until they find hold on let's make sure we're paying attention here I know a lot of folks will hold out um, on 
getting skill the skill tree books but really it's like you might as well just buy them especially if you really do need them it kind of sucks but uh, early on you can do without having like super armor and super weapons oh this is probably gonna be witch's hut maybe leprosarium or maybe both oh no it's witch's hut this lady is always trying to drug me man so we'll see if she's gonna keep on with that or not all right all right old lady what you got all right, free potion. Thank you. Her staff spells for pretty good. I think you get like 400 for it. And then uh, the treaties is always worth it too. Uh, the disenchant scrolls are going to be pink. Yeah, I don't know. She always has disenchant scrolls. I don't know why. And then her hat. I think you could sell the hat for a little bit. Um... Hmm. Do we have... Oh, we do have some room in the backpack. So we can kind of teach us things a little bit here. Fang amulet. It doesn't sell for like hardly anything, so it's not really worth it. Okay. Uh, we'll get one more strength, and then we're going to go all agility. And we'll get... Uh, I don't know. Maybe we should wait so I can just get down the tree faster more blood is pretty useful um yeah cause you get more hands efficiency with if your flurry of blow kills the target and this and the skill itself doesn't go on cooldown it's pretty handy what is the does it have a bonus yeah it has extra 3% uh, accuracy which is pretty useful that's kind of one of the reasons why I picked uh, Velmir was so we could get bonus accuracy like when we're getting attacked so let's keep it rolling we got a level out of this so it's already worth it we got a long way to the next one but yeah we'll start hitting up the dungeons on the next one we got two more to go but yeah, I don't, it's weird, like, I kind of agree that the bandit, the, at least the bandits are not as difficult. It's really more, the difficulty is coming from the number. Like, these little camps aren't so bad. Oh, we found the troll. That's a weird spot for him. I'd grab, oh wait, there's some, are these swords better than my sword? Because I've got... 24 damage. Let's drop this for a minute. Oh, they're only 22 damage. Lame. Let's see. I don't think there's anything really that good or useful. Watchman sword. Yeah, we'll leave it. Another watchman sword. I don't think they sell for very much either. Kind of lame. It, it kind of explains why they all died to the troll, you know. It's like, bring better equipment next time, bruh. All right, we got one more. Could be camp, could be leprosarium. We only have, we only have three more points of interest left, so we'll save the other two and we'll head to the monast, um, the abbey and stuff once we um, get to Manshar. I'm not like in a huge rush. I just figured we could gain a little extra um, experience points off of doing this. I don't know if it'd be worth it to get perception. Oh no, we've crossed over into the step biome. I do like the subtle changes to the trees and stuff here. Alright, so it is a camp. There's not really anything in the Leprosarium that we can't live without, so... It's just like a bunch of medical supplies and stuff. Oh, we got somebody. <laughs> he's running oh we got the twins the lumpy twins all right come on guys oh 
Oh, that didn't work right. Oh, that should have. The cooldown should have reset. That's a little bit lame. I wonder if that's a bug. Oh, we got more dudes. Let's do it, bruh. You guys aren't particularly tough. You're on the lower end of the bandit uh, food chain. Oh man, he knocked out one of my... That's not cool. I guess that's kind of the nice thing about dual wield. You can still, uh... Jeez, man, these have been terrible. Thought we would have gotten something cool. Alright, we'll sleep till the morning. Oh, quite so wonderful to wake up and it's sleeping. It's sleeping, it's raining. My brain's all over the place today. I think the Gooden Dog gives okay money if it's not. Yeah, it's all banged up though. Okay, well, let's. Uh, we're way over here. Not even that far from Manshire either. We'll head back. I'll try to go through the forest so we can see if we can get some more random encounters. Definitely feeling more comfortable with the build. And I think, let me look. Tide gloves, town shoes. I mean, we could go Berserk Tradition. Because I don't know. Five plus, plus five dodge is pretty decent, honestly. We're not going to get the elven, the elven piece, the elven garment, likely. It's not very likely. But, so we would get, we get okay bonus. Uh, cause what is it? Let me look at it again. So we get five, plus 5% 5 hands efficiency and plus 8% dodge. And then crit and crit efficiency plus the 3% crit chance passive is nice you know what nah I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off I'm tempted but let's keep on with the original plan here all right we'll just go diagonal I guess until we hit the road maybe we'll find find a grave or something and we'll get the elven garment if we get the elven garment i'll take that as a sign of let's uh <laughs> let's go berserk tradition on my uh jorgrim playthrough doing jewel wield and i had the uh elven garment it took me like like at least two or three nights to try to save scum it was horrible huge waste of time but um my dodge once I had defensive tactics on was like 70% it was a huge help against the troll I thought maybe we would have found a grave this should be the road so we'll start heading because what we went over here it went up so we should be right here all right mr. bunny you're still dumb. Stop running. Ah, oh, free, free tender meat. Yeah, there's still some stuff that they need to iron out. So I'm kind of glad they didn't want, didn't go gung ho and added a bunch of stuff because it would take even longer for them to patch everything out. All right, we're gonna get elven garment. If we do, my fate is sealed. We get a huge bonus too. And I'll go and I'll save up for the exquisite cows, the best headpiece, I think, still. Nah, it's not there. I don't know why I thought it would be. We still have a chance to run past another one here. Let's see, I think if we keep going we'll hit the forest, so. Try to get in some more fights. 
Oh, he messed up our hand. Might as well, we'll just use the leech. It's funny to think if you were fighting and you had leeches attached to your hand while you're swinging two swords. I guess they hold on pretty good, so it wouldn't really be that big of an issue. Alright, nobody? Alright, Mr. Bunny. We going for round two here? How much more room do I have? Oh, that was it, so. The only thing we really got was the sheath. It's kind of lame. Well, we got the witch's staff, so we'll get a little bit of money back. I mean, there's a lot of bunnies on this uh, tile. Alright, this should be for us. Not yet, I guess. Are we on the road tile? Yeah, we are. I don't take the roads, by the way. I don't know if you guys ever watched my tips video. If you're new to the channel, if you take the roads, you're pretty much guaranteed to ambush. I mean, obviously you have a, a better chance of finding altars and stuff, but it's really just not even worth it. Although he could have tried to get in some ambushes. That would have been interesting. I gotta say, the uh, Falchions are pretty decent. Oh, wait. So we're here. Yeah, let's go up. Let's see. You know what? I'll go for it. I love you guys, so let's try to force a encounter here. Come on, Mr. Deer. I don't want to fight you. Or Mrs. Deer. No? No ambush. Okay. Well, I tried. Can't say I didn't try, guys. Do have a potion? Maybe it'll be good. Maybe it'll be bunk. Usually, she gives me the one that, like, I don't know if it paralyzes you or puts you. There's one that will put you to sleep. That's pretty hilarious. Okay, right here. So up, up one, and then we'll go over. Assuming we're not finding anybody. Didn't really find anything crazy on the, uh... What was that? Did you guys hear that? That sounded like somebody died. And dropped their coins. Oh, I didn't even notice. I'm hungry. Or at 27%. Let's get over... Overfilled. And we're all full up. I don't have... Oh, I do have... That's right, we did just open that up. I heard it again. What's the coin sound? Alright, we gotta figure out where that... That's usually the someone dropped coin sound. So maybe there's an encounter going on between the bad guys? Let's investigate. I need to know. Either that or some weird bug. What do we got? Who we got? But I'm thinking if two bandits got dropped, then it's probably... Oh my gosh, freaking scared me. Idiot. Oh, he dashed. Oh, there was some coins dropped. Oh, that was a weird... That was kind of like a weird trigger that happened there. Double bleed there. Okay, so he dropped coins. Can we get those? I need a drink. They did get a little bit close. Oh, we need to drink a lot. All right, let's get the wolf. The wolf meat then to fill the. Fill that. All right, we'll rest. 
We can use our healing stuff. Why not? Got kind of messed up off that mead, man. Alright, so it was coin drops. So there are some coins somewhere else that were dropped. I don't know where it would be. It's a lot of penny buns. If we had open inventory, I would totally grab some penny buns. Okay, I know that I heard two drops of coins. I didn't want to like waste it, you know? Oh well. Let's see. That's where he died. Oh, there they go. Yeah, so it was random encounter. They got wrecked by the wolves. But it's not hard to imagine if there's three wolves. And his Guten dog. Oh, it's actually in good condition. Let me see what it. How much it's worth. 260. Yeah, you know, we'll drop the. We're about to be back in town anyway, so. We'll stack the meat horizontal. I mean, uh, vertically here. And then. Hat. Meat. Then we're good to go. Alrighty. Yeah, because we'll, we'll just cut over. I think that's enough for today. That was interesting um, to see the. that they had gotten wrecked. It should be. Yeah, this is town. Let's. Uh, yeah, so I'll start getting everything sold and stuff, but. As always, uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate everybody that's new that's on board with the channel. You can expect a lot more, um, a lot more let's plays. And oh, I guess he closed up shop. Um, and more content, of course. I'm thinking of working on more compilation videos because I have so much footage. Maybe do like close calls intense battles something like that maybe even uh try to get some of the compilation of like the deaths that i've had <laughs> they're either embarrassing or depressing either or but let me know what you guys like um i know i can't get to the game the game code yet i'm gonna keep in touch with the guys that do the wiki for the game because they're probably gonna find a way to get to it and if they do, then um, we should be able to do like a follow up, like I have the RNG video. We should be able to do something like that. Um, yeah. Otherwise, we'll uh, we'll just keep plowing through here. I'll go figure that out. I get a little bit more medical supplies and stuff. But yeah, I appreciate all the support. You guys are awesome. I do have a link for my Streamlabs in the de in the description. If you're feeling generous and want to support the channel, it's definitely appreciated. It keeps me motivated. And, you know, knowing you guys really like this stuff. Uh, otherwise, I mean, regardless, we'll be staying through. We're going to be covering this game till, till release, maybe even after we try to do some modding and some crazy stuff. So definitely enjoy the community around the game. If you guys aren't, go on the Discord. That's pretty awesome, too. So until next time, peace. Oh,